Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode where I am trying to get from C- to X rank only using chargers, and I'm currently at A, and just knocking on the door of A+. I'm the Bitcoiner, and uh, thank you for joining in for another episode. Before I go look at what gear I'm going to be running for today, just want to ask if you could please like, subscribe, and share. That would help me with growing this channel, and thank you for your support to date. And... With that, the equipment I'm going to be running today, given what's the stages, and I'll be going over there them in a minute, is I'm going to use my trusty old E-Leader last-ditch effort and in the two ink saver mains for the shirt and the shoes. So with that, I'll show you what are the stages and why I'm choosing this weapon. And it is Splat Zone, and it's Hagglefish Market and Brinewater Springs, both very friendly to chargers, which is why I'm going to try running the E-Leader on it. So I'll start it off. Let's see what happens at the end of this. Hopefully we are in A+, but we're rolling the dice every time we do this. Stick around. It's going to be a fun one. And when the match starts, you'll see me performing my craft. And it didn't take us too long to find the first match. And here we are, Hagglefish Market. So I'm going to go on that ledge that's that little tent area just directly in front of the spawn and then I just hang there for I think I'll try from the beginning and see if I could stay there for a good chunk of the match because from there I could have a good overview of the what needs to be patrolled in this flat zone and I got the range to really be a nuisance but you know what I'm looking at that guy over there doing the same thing as me I may want to just push off and try to neutralize him there's that guy I just missed him. Alright. I'm gonna go push up and get that guy in that ledge there. There you go. Is there another one? Oh no. <laughs> I got smoked. Absolutely throttled. Our one guy's there, he's gonna get killed, I think. He's gonna get surrounded. And they survived it. I'm gonna try for that crab. I missed the head shot. I missed that guy. Let's get that out there. I'm gonna try to go for him on that ledge over there. Oh, I just missed. Again. I'm gonna try to just be sneaky about this. I need that area painted so I can just swim in. Oh man, did I just miss him. I'm gonna try getting that flat charger with my... Ah, I missed it. Yeah, that's tag team. Go home. Last time. Just before he got the crab out. Too bad, so sad for him. I'm gonna get that guy to pop. Oh, I missed. Alright, good start. We're 1 0. We'll take that. That was a wipeout, too, so it was a pretty quick match. I was kind of ho hum that match. I wasn't really doing that much, but I wasn't being a true jabroni. I don't think I died once, but that's really just being a backline e-leader. I kind of get away from the whole um, the antics, what's going on in the middle of the map, and let my teammates take care of business while I get all the glory. Yeah, six, six splats. I uh, died once. Nothing really spectacular, but we won the match. I'll take that, and uh, we'll carry this to the next one and see what happens. Stick around. Once the next match commences. Okay, match number two. I think everybody remained from the last match to this one, so we have the same old team. And we're at Brinewater this time around. There's an excellent spot on this map where I could dump the Wavebreaker, and it will be relatively safe from friendly sorry, from enemy fire, and it will cover a great deal of the splat zone. So I'm gonna show it off. I've seen it on Twitter where people are complaining about how um how odd some some of the Oh shoot, we've been absolutely throttled at the beginning of this map. Alright. Just missed him. Yeah, let him have that area. 
we? He's back. Alright. I have to push. And I'm gonna put that wave breaker, like I mentioned, right here. By being right there, it could cover a great deal of ground. See, it just killed that guy. I didn't kill him. And it's safe. It's got the safety of um, the wall over there. So. Uh, that's a good cloud they dumped on. He wanted to get me. Perfect. Let's use up his specials on me. Can I get up here? Yeah. I gotta cover up this area because, you know what, just dumping one ink mine will be enough to trigger the enemy's movement. Like this guy. Yep. Yep, that's all you need. And then dump the wave breaker there and away you go. Wow, the range on this is phenomenal. See ya. You too. You too. I could have got the quad, but... There it is. That's a quad. It's the E-leader quad. being quiet there. Just thinking to myself, what to do next? And once I get rid of this guy, or we get rid of him, there you go, I'm gonna just dump the wave break. Oh no, it's the wrong spot. It's still gonna be able to, to do what it has to do. It's just it's not protected. And I'm gonna dump a ink mine there just to give some added protection to my teammates. Come after me, buddy. Yep. That's what I want. Bring it on. Oh, I just missed him. I'll tap you to death because you're already weak from my ink mine. Oof. This guy's going down. For the count. That guy's going down for the count, too, so I'm gonna just dump it over there. Make life really challenging for them. That guy's going down for the count, too. Point. Point. Ooh, the range on this is just nuts. This is definitely a friendly map for chargers. Oh, I just missed him. One, zero. Okay, so two and zero oh to start this match or start start the series. Kind of a decent start to it all. All right, but yeah, as you can see, there's a couple of things you could do with the E leader here. A, you could dump the wave breaker in that spot that's protected by the wall, and it gets great coverage in the middle. And then you could also just dump one of those ink mines where the enemies have to take the path in order to meet you and when they do a it triggers them so you know where they are and b they're weak and you just tap kill them so yeah 16 splats no deaths that's a pretty good matchup for me and yeah we'll keep this one rolling and uh see you all once the next match starts back to hagglefish i'm gonna try to do the same thing initially try to go on that tent area immediately straight from the spawn point and i might work my way down so I'm going to stand there for initially and go from there. Now they got a stringer, so that's going to be a challenge at times. A good stringer is worth its weight in gold. A bad E-leader like myself is just a waste of space. That's a good one. So I'm going to push down, throw one ink mine here. Oh, I thought I had enough time to charge and kill that Reef Slider, but it didn't. Papa Smurf got me. Oh, 
Okay, so we got the wipe off. So much paint over here to cover. And I'll just dump this right here. So it's gonna give him a bit of a work to do. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Yeah, I deserve that. <laughs> Alright, so he got the mark at least. I was just a fish out of that guy's guillotine. Are right, surviving it so far? I'm gonna try to protect them. He deserves some protection given what he's got. What a lucky shot by me. Good job there. I'm gonna stay and watch this left side. I have a feeling he's gonna try to come to the left here. Two of them are. I'm in both of them. I have to go backwards. Oof. I'm gonna jump out. I could not withstand that barrage. This is not an in close type weapon. Can't engage in melee attacks here. Oh, he's wait. Okay, I'm gonna push up. Put some ink mines around. Because that way we can protect our area. Oh, that's a good spot for. The wave breaker. Somebody's gonna try coming over here, yeah. Oh, I wanted him to come through. Alright, I'm gonna do the same thing. Dump another ink mine right here. And hope for the best. That's a good booyah bomb. Oh, somebody's coming over there. Not gonna try to challenge him yet. Okay, well, three and zero. This is a really good start. Friendly charger stages. A lot of luck. Good teammates. I'll take it. <laughs> Let's be honest. I'll take it. I've been on the other side. So when it comes, uh, the sun is shining on the horse's ass like it is right now with me. I'm taking it. I didn't kill all that much. In match number three, as I did in, say, like, match number two, look, seven kills, I died twice. I wasn't all that great, but I was putting those wave breakers at really good spots to help my teammates out. Three victories, even if I lose the next three, I'm probably going to make gains. This is good, and when the next matchup starts, you'll see, see me doing my stuff, so stick around. Okay, match number four is starting right now. Brian Water, so back and forth, back and forth. I'm talking about the stages that... We're playing right now, and I think we have the same four people from the last few matches. So we're a team. We're a unit. We know each other. We know each other's strengths, weaknesses, everything. Let me just jump, jump a ink mine right there. And um, yeah, oh, I just missed him. He's weak. He's dead. Just missed him. I need ink. Big time. Let's see what I could do here. I'm gonna put the wave breaker down. He's going down. Oh, I missed him. Try to tap kill him. Didn't quite work. All right, they're stuck in their base, especially with me holding here. I think they got a little bit of yeah. They had reservations about uh, jumping in, and uh, yeah. I'm gonna go for that. Oh, I missed a crab. I'm gonna try for him. Just hit him. Then kill him. That's what I wanted. So they got rid of two specials. And still didn't manage to. Oh, 
I was gonna say the magic the controller zone, but that's what you you want them to use up their specials and not make gains. Because that way it's gonna be harder for them to make gains. <laughs> that makes any sense. Four, three, two, one. Alright, so four no. <laughs> it's been very, very fortunate series of matches for me. There's no other way to describe it. And we'll just keep plugging away. So even if I lose the next three after this, I'm still going to be able to make gains. Possibly, I mean, very, very close to getting to A+, I think, even if I lose the next three, but we'll see. Let's just try to win the last one, and then uh, we don't take that out of the equation, that variable. Number one splatter, I did. incredible. 4 no. Lucky, lucky, lucky. And we'll continue on. At the next match, stick around. Alright, here we go back at it. I got a friend request. Alright, I'm gonna take a look to see who it is. I'm gonna add him. I think this is my first friend for this account. They must have been uh, impressed with my ability last match. Alright, so back to Brian Water. As I we saw last match, very friendly map stage, whatever you want to call it, for an e leader. That guy up there is gonna go that. Oh, I wanted to get that. He's now worried. Can't get him. Alright. Yeah. Bring it on, bring it on. Alright, my friend had to help me out there. Oh, I just missed him. So he's going out to the left. So you know what? I'm going to duck this here. Yeah, they, they wanted me. They're trying to get after me. This is what I like. The top kill that thing. Ah, just a special barrage. Lucky shot by me. I had no idea where he was. I just shot him randomly. So I'm going to try to. Oops. He's going to try to go for me. Yep. Gonna reach. Guy jumping in is gonna go down for the count. That splatling is. Oh, I was gonna try to get him. I missed. I'm gonna have to put another ink mine down here. Thank you. My teammate saved me. Oh, shoot. But I didn't save him. I should have. I was too worried about other things. Put that down there. That's a good spot, I think, for the Wave Breaker because it's protected by that big block in the middle. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> that Hydra is kind of stuck. I, I know the feeling because I played as a Hydra against um, E leaders, and, uh, yeah, it's just. Sometimes it's daunting because they could outrange you and everything. Good, we got rid of that. Our teammates are just keeping them up. I don't, I'm kind of just hanging down here. They're the stars of the show. I'm just got to keep painting so we get this win. All right, 5-0. Oh. Yeah, my teammates were the star of that show. I was just there for the ride. Thank you very much, teammates, for carrying me through these five matches. I love it. And that's a quick video. <laughs> very quick video because we're just in and out five. I think it was five KOs. Five KOs, five matches, five wins. That's what you want to see. I don't know how much of those I'll be able to repeat moving forward, because especially as we move up in the ranks, because next rank, I think, is going to be A+. Let's take a look to make sure. Seven splats, no kills. All right, do I get 216 points? 313. So yeah, I'm in A+, made it there. And I'm within striking distance of the rank up battle. So with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, and until next time, adios.